let's take a look at an art book. That's, that's, I don't have a theme tune for the podcast, but I got like a mini theme tune within the, about this book I've shown before. I looked at Glenn Fabry last week. I'll look at him this week. I hope he's okay. Um, I've shown this book before, but I'll show it again because that's what you do with art books. You look through them a lot because they're good, especially if they're good. And I'm painting today quite a sort of, you know, I guess the goblin I'm painting is is somewhat comic book cover-ish. And this is the collected uh, comic book covers from the series Preacher, all painted by Glenn Fabry, Glenethan Fabrington. Yes, Glenda Fabrino. Glendino Fabrintano, Gablinus Fabrinus, Glenus Penis, Glenus Fabrinus, Fat Penis. That's cool. That's every time I look through an art book, that's all it is, is me going, wow, that's good. Oh, that's good too. Um, this book is good because not only does it have good recreations of all of all of the covers from the series Preacher, which is you should all check it out. I've read some of it, like the first few issues. Um, but I've got loads of them because of the covers. Because they're fucking... And then I found this book and was like, oh, I guess I don't need to... But it has words by Fabry and the writer Ennis, which is cool, but by Fabry. Um, I posed in the mirror for this hand and arm and made up the rest of it. I don't work from photographs, at least not in the way a photorealist would, i.e. copying it all down precisely. I draw the image like the sketches, the ones printed on this side of the book. Uh, and then refine the picture as the work progresses. I do a lot of pulling faces in the mirror, which I've seen. He does that a lot. It's very good. Um, and Nikki will take Polaroids, sometimes for hands and so forth. So I do use reference a fair bit. I'd say 75% of each painting is made up out of my head. And for the rest, I'll use whatever's going. Uh, so that's that's a cool insight. Is about a quarter of it. So, so this is reference. And this is all made up, which is really cool. It's good to know. Um... That he uses reference where he feels he needs it. And in other places, because it's got to be hard to get reference for a, a, a face that's been sheared off somebody's head. Um, but regardless, it looks fucking good. It looks sick in both ways. It looks sick as in that's a cool fucking piece of artwork. And it looks sick as in that's disgusting. That's sickening. <laughs> and it's cool to see the sketches um, as well as the final pieces. Also, um, he also says... Uh, his Fabry's best bit, the guy's forehead on the pool table, which is quite cool. It's quite a funny, funny little, funny face. Um, I mean, I don't need to go on and on, but especially like here, because you can see there's like a reddish orange underpainting under the blue. I don't know how, does it show up on the camera? Maybe it doesn't. Fuck it. <laughs> it gives a shit. You can see it under his hair as well. Um, and it's only a couple of, of shades of blue that he's put in there using fairly fairly broad brush strokes that you can actually see. And so seeing this allowed me personally as an artist to to go, oh, okay, that's how you, you can see this painting itself is a how to paint this picture. Batman t-shirt, that's quite cool. Um, and therefore, that's quite funny. Um, the worst painting I think I've done in the last six years. That's pretty funny. He really was not happy with this one. I can see why, uh, but at the same time, it is pretty cool. Kind of like it. Because that's that's pretty funny anyway, but then it's like, oh, he's he's a police. <laughs> Gosh. Um, but yeah, Glenn Fabry was, is the reason I paint uh, in, in quite the way I do. Which, you know, maybe that's good or bad. I'm getting better. I've definitely progressed in the years I've done it, so I'm glad for that. By stealing, you know, some of his stuff. <laughs> Certainly fire. Fire is in issue three of Gun Viking. This, I stole this for how to paint fire. You can even see where some of my dirty water landed on it while I was painting. I really like this one. Painting in grayscale is really, really cool. And that's gnarly as well. I love the textures because I've said before about all the unnecessary wrinkles he puts in, but they really, really work. And then when he puts them in the skin and stuff, the texture in that just looks so like haggard and disgusting. It's great. The shirt, like the smiley face with one eye because he's only got one eye because he's inbred. 
The characters are fucking cool. Some really good shit, man. The patterns and everything on that. All painted in great. Good shit, good, good shit. That's quite funny. I've been asked to supply a few words for each painting. For this one, it's turn the page now. He obviously doesn't like this one. And again, I can see that's not one of his best. The pose is a bit weird and it's not, you know, not his best work. Still a good painting, you know. I'd, I'd be happy if I painted something like that, but. But you can see where it's coming from. John Wayne, I think. That's cool, that's really, really cool. I love the color in that, the orange, the glow is really nicely done. And the background as well, you've got to take that into account. Because he might have used reference for this, but like a lot of that is just sort of paint it to look good enough. So you get the idea of like, you know, a Midwestern kind of somewhat desert backdrop or whatever. And a lot of it you can see is like blotches of paint just to fill in colour or whatever, but it works. It works, it works, it works. Getting the texture in the skin and stuff. She, some good shit, man. Underlighting the orange glow on the. Oi, 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 oi. That's cool. That's really cool. Hair star. And that's a painting, man. That's a. I mean, you can. If you look at that quickly, you go, "That is a picture of thing." Could be digitally rendered. Could be whatever. But when you look closely, you go, "Ah, oh, you can see the paint. You can see flecks of like uh, sprayed paint, like flicked paint." see strokes and stuff. Ah. Ah. Uh, uh, uh. That is absolutely Glenn Fabry's face. Like if you've seen him, if you know the guy, that is, is pretty much what he looks like, which is quite funny. So obviously there he was using his face as reverence. Reference. Referalrence. Referalrence. That's quite funny. And again, Gorgeously painted. I guess airbrush for the glowy bits. And just cool characters and stuff. I wonder if that's Glenn Fabry's body <laughs> for reference. Who knows? Cool. Tulip, cool. The lighting is great. Um, and stuff like uh, the textures, the stuff on the forearms and stuff. It almost looks like random blobs when you look at it in, in detail, but it's good enough that it completely convinces you that those are like a live person's arms, you know. The dress, the tight dress is really, really cool. Quite sexy as well, I'd say. That's the, I'm not sure. I think, I guess I do prefer this one. That's the, the, the original sketch. I quite like the slight curve of the hip there, but I think it works, especially in terms of, you know, on a comic book store shelf, seeing that with Preacher above it is. It's cool. That's a really fun one. Well, this was a fun one to do. There you go. <laughs> I really like the stained glass windows and stuff. That's fucking insane. Um, yeah, Fabry's hand holding a lighter. The detail in that, man, the texture. Oi, 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 oi. That's the shit, like... Like if I was painting a, a big hand, again, painting big things, like zoomed-in versions of things for a comic book, drawing or painting them, the easy thing to do, what I'd do, is get a big brush and go finger, 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 thumb, big areas, and then... You know, a couple of little bits of detail, different shading and stuff. And I go, ah, that's good enough. Done. But then the texture, the skin folds and veins and shit. Different colours as well. It's not just all skin colour. Different tones and things. Oy. Man. And fucking shit in the background. The trees are cool. Very easily you can see... Blobs of paint, stippling here, a few different colours and a few lines for branches. But that's the most easiest sort of like basic way of implying trees. 
yeah, whatever. I don't really have time to do a full in-depth analysis. Well, I guess I do. I can make it as long as I want, but I won't. I won't do a full analysis. The little slight, like, it's not even purple. It looks purple, but then it's actually almost a similar tone to her skin, like a pink. Just, just, just on the edges there. And then purple. That's good. It's good, that. He's good. He is, his old Mr. Fabry. That's cool. I know they're, they're not allowed to have, or that putting blood on a comic book cover is like a thing. Like, I think you can do it sometimes in small amounts, but sometimes you can't. So this, the amount of blood you'd need to have to have this be, you know, accurately represented would be too much. So that they have all these bullet holes and stuff with no blood <laughs> at all. Which is kind of cool. I quite like it. I also really like the tone, like the dirt in the shirt and stuff. Really cool texture on the jacket. And skin, of course, for the holes. The glasses are really cool. The shattering effect. And the red sort of glow from the... It's cool. It's good. It's good. It's good. It's good. The purple glow there is really cool. And the shape, texture in the clothes. The vomit on his shirt. It's cool. It's a really cool idea as well. Not just, it's well painted, obviously, but the idea is really cool. Similar to, I guess, um, like when they have Wolverine's claws and the reflection of like the Hulk or whatever in the claws. But like, it's good shit, man, it's good shit. <gasps> Demon fucking an angel. That's how like the abomination thing they're all trying to capture was created. I think you can see these are like tits, demon tits, and he's put like lava spurts covering the nipples. It's a difficult one to show, like, because it almost doesn't look like they're having sex. Almost, I guess because the way their arms are like, they don't look intertwined, but that's what's happening, so fucking whatever. Kind of neat. <laughs> Nearly as bad as number seven. Not not a fan, I guess, of this one. He was. For me, I think it's the colours. I don't know if I dig the green, but as they say, green is not not a uh, creative colour. Pretty gnarly. A lot of the covers are just like they're just sort of good. They're sort of whatever. Like this is. To me, it's cool, but it's it's just person building. Mm. Again, very very well painted. I like the solid color in the background, but sort of unexciting in general. Almost too much texture in the neck. I don't know. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Uh, Tulip's neck looks like she's sucking on a quadruple thick milkshake. Yeah. There's so many veins and stuff going on right there. That's cool. Um, yeah, there you go. A relatively rare action shot from Glenn. Because he does, he paints a lot of just like... Well, especially if he's doing comic book covers, which is largely what he does. It's, you know, people... People. Just people being people. But this is an actual action shot things going on which is very cool all the faces very smart with putting the background colors very like toned down almost like sepia tone so as not to detract excuse me <laughs> oh, i'm dying that's pretty cool difficult shit to paint especially at that angle and I get that's like the gunshot just gone off and then it's recoiled backwards, but it looks a bit weird. It looks like a distant explosion, like in the background somewhere. Yeah, whatever. Texture on that is really cool. Arse face. We love arse face. That's funny. I'm a stupid. I'm with ugly. Hi. <laughs> See, because he's... Boo. It's pretty funny. Right. Cool. Just cool. Good, cool painting. 
Turquoise is good. Turquoise is really always a good colour. I think I'm going to use that in the background of my Green Goblin painting. The texture on the snake is fucking insane. Scales, man. All the scales and the lighting on the scales. It's just ridiculous. Yeah, cool. That's cool. That's cool. I like that. Red. Red. Brilliant. Saint of Killers. Badass. Fucking cool. The backgrounds, man. Painting rocks to look like rocks is pretty difficult. So that's... It's cool. With the purple here and the yellow. Blue in the sky. That's... Damn, damn fine. Damn fine. 97. So many years ago. That's cool. Yeah, painting faces like when they're bigger. It's, it's difficult to get those smooth tones and everything in there. So that's... Obviously, he does it well. Very good. Very, very cool. Very well-painted fire. The colours in the background are cool. Him looking skeletal, like a ghoul from Fallout 4 or something. Or Fallout in general. I've not even played 4. I don't know why I used that as an example. That's cool. That's a really cool piece. The colours and stuff in the in all of that. All the different tones and colours in, in there. Spittle coming out of arse faces. Arse face. The <laughs> wearing boxing gloves. That's cool. The shapes in the fucking guitarists. The crowd, it's funny. That's some good shit, man. That's a really, really nice piece. That's a hang on the wall kind of piece. And the little arse face smiley thing. It's pretty funny. That's cool. That's a really good piece. Really good characters. Inbred hillbilly cannibals. <laughs> That's really, really good. Very good indeed. Arse face as the planet. That's cool. That's really, really good. I like that. I like it a lot. Cool. Mr. Meat Man. Played in the TV series by the guy who played Rorschach in Watchmen. Oh, that meat and guts and shit. Very cool. Delicious. I think that's based on like an old painting. Um, Christina's World, is that what it's called? The famous Wyeth painting. Oh, yeah, I guess when he finished it, yeah, it was too close to the painting, so we had to change it up. But yeah, it's cool. He used the 3D model rendering, an old 90s 3D model rendering, to get the perspective and shape and stuff. Cool backgrounds again. Very toned down color wise, as far as most of his stuff goes. Bit of a controversial one. Yeah, problematic piece, basically, because of the subject matter. But, uh... Oh, they added the tagline, Ku Klux Cretins, or Cretins, to show, because they had to show they were making fun of them and not praising them. Um, which is the point. <laughs> Well-painted uh, textures and stuff, you know. I'll praise that, at least. Cool, sort of darker ones in the background. That's cool, but like, maybe the skeletal form or whatever isn't quite visible enough, I don't know. That's a pretty classic one, that's good. Love the sausage, the texture on the sausage. It's good, it's good shit. I'm <sighs> taking too long, but like, I mean that's good, I guess. <laughs> It's well painted, but it's like, eh. And that's when it comes to the difference of painting like things and then painting people and then painting action scenes and it's a whole thing in it. That must have been very quick. Pencils and stuff for the hair. That looks like a very quickly painted piece. <laughs> I love the little arse face 
uh, cherubs. These are great. That's cool. Love the colour, the red glow and everything. That's cool. We love, we love, uh, I don't know what, even what to call it, a collection of characters. It's good, it's good shit, man. Cassidy, that's cool. That's a really good pose, I like that. Really well painted, look, the ribs and spine and stuff. And the, the back is a notoriously difficult, like, bit to capture in drawing or painting, so that's really nicely done. That's cool. Again, a quick one, I guess. Yeah, a complete rush job. There you go. Yeah. You can see how quickly he painted it, but it's pretty good, pretty effective nonetheless. These head studies are pretty cool. Textures and shit. Saint of Killers, the texture in, under his eyes and stuff, man. The lips. Difficult shit to do. But well done, of course. That's cool. It's very, very cool. <laughs> I like that. No, oh, that eye looks so rough, man. Good shit. <gasps> That's cool. Saint of Killers. Going against the forces of heaven. Oh, and these are like bonus ones, I guess. That's, oh, man. Oh, yeah, because there was like a separate little Saint of Killers storyline. I guess that was for that. Another action scene. <gasps> oh, that's hot. I like that. It's the same hand and gun, but with... Not quite the same, but very, very close. That's pretty funny. The devil, as opposed to angels in heaven. Oh, badass. Fucking the texture in the jacket, the shirt, the face, even the hat, little creases and shit. The clouds are well painted, the guns at that perspective. Oi, classic. That's cool. It's very, very cool. <laughs> That's pretty neat. There's a lot going on in there. That character's great. I think I've seen that painted as like a piece of graffiti. Well, not a piece of graffiti, but painted on a wall. Um, the gorilla's funny. Colours of that are really, really nice. Trade paperback covers. Oh, that's nice. The rays and everything, the fading up and the lighting on him. That shit there. I think that's him as a kid and his dad getting shot by those fuckers. That's really nice. That's a hang on your wall piece. And then people would think it's some kind of actual religious iconography or something, but... Uh, 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 as you, uh, uh. <laughs> Too many creases! The coat does not need this many creases in it, Jesus. It's good though, it's good. I'm, I'm not saying it's bad, it's just funny. That's funny. All the creases in the world. Badass. Saint of Killers. I missed one, oh no. Oh, another semi semi grayscale as opposed to fully grayscale with that painting in the background. That's cool. Little Cassidy picture there. Neato. That's cool. Fucking cool shit. Good shit. Good shit, cool shit. Miscellaneous paintings. Yeah. Oh, that's fucking nice, actually. I really like this. Isn't that, um, he like did a, a redone version of that in his sketchbook that I showed last week? 
Mm. Cool. Yeah, that's okay. Yeah, that.